Hello, it's Claire for Spectrum Noir. Today I'm going to show you how, by using your Aqua Tints, the pastel range, you can make this beautiful three dimensional card. Okay, the first thing you're going to need is your Pretty Pastels Aqua Tints. Um, they come with six in the pack, but today we're just going to be using four of them. And the ones we're going to be using are the yellow, which is number 35. We've got the orange, which is number 39. We're using the green, which is 25, as well as a little bit of the blue, which is number five. We're also going to be using some die cuts. For this, I've used um, Sheena's Roses Perfect Pairs uh, dies, um, both the flower and the leaves. I ran the dies through the machine with six layers of normal copier paper um, because you don't really need the embossing on them, you just need the actual basic shape. So for each flower you need six sets of petals and we're going to use three sets of leaves. As you can see there's two different colours of roses we're making. We're making yellow with orange in the centre. Now it's very very pale orange um, but I like the effect of that. And then we're using the orange with a little bit of green in the centre. And then for the leaves we're obviously using green but we're also using a little bit of the blue just to give it a little bit of contrast. We'll start with the yellow flower if I leave that there. Now these are really highly concentrated but um, because they're quite pale for this technique I'm using them directly from the bottles or you could put them into the um, with your pipette. There you go. So you're building up the colour. As you can see it soaks really well in because the copy of paper is obviously quite porous. So I've put on quite a lot there. Let's just put the lid on. I don't need that anymore. And open up the orange. So that was the yellow. Next is the orange. Just on the side here I've got a bit of um, tissue. Right, you want to add this to the centre. You want to add quite a bit because, as I say, because it's quite light colour, um, it kind of goes all in together, as you can see there. You can let it dry, and you can also add some more if you really like. I like the real pastel effect. So that's the first one. Now, while it's still damp, what you need to do is, if you look at the back, you can see it's kind of seeped through a bit. If you turn it back over, you want to scrunch the whole of the piece up into a little ball. And then very carefully, you need to unwrap him. As I say, you need to be very careful with this. What I do is hold where the centre part is so you can peel them all out, all the petals out. And slowly, oops, there you go. This is going to give you the texture, and it's also going to mean that when you dry it, which I'll show you next, there we go, with the hot air gun, it'll all crease up. So, ready? There you go. So now you can see it's dry, but it's absolutely, if you wanted to, this petal's obviously not been crunched as much, you can still crunch it up and give it a little bit more texture. So what you do is you do six of these, and then once all six are done, you'd offset them 
until you build up the flower like this. So that just shows you how quick and easy it is to make those. So that's the yellow version. So let me show you the orange version next. Once again, you'll see the difference in the colours, how much brighter this orange is once it's on the white paper without going over the yellow as we did in that first rose. There we go. Right, for the centre of this rose, we're going to use the green. I don't know whether you can see it in there. Right, so we're just going to dip it in. And just the same as before, just on the middle section, you can probably see this a little bit easier on, on this, how it all blends and bleeds and mixes together. And we're going to do exactly the same, putting your lid on. So carefully peel it up. You see it's really pliable. Um, and on the back, you can see where it's bled through. Once again, scrunch it all up. Very carefully. Put out the first one and then hold in the centre section. Carefully unpeeling all those leaves, all the leaves, all the petals. There we go. There you go. You can see how delicate. Let's turn that around. How delicate that's turned out. That one was obviously a little bit wetter um, when I've painted it because it's scrunched up a lot easier. So let's use a heat gun again. There you go. So that's all dried now. And once again, you would then build that up into. Let's put this into the centre of this one. As you can see, I'm cupping these ones, as this is the last one, I'm going to cup these all together and squidge it around just a little bit to give it a bit more shape. And using the Kalau glue, just pop a little bit in the centre. Pop it into the middle. Now what I you can also do to shape it even more is cup it in your hand and push down with your tool and bring it all up so you've got an actual you know you've actually shaped the flower so that's the yellow and that's the orange one so let me show you now how I coloured the green one so that's the green, that's the leaf there. This is a little bit more difficult to do once you've actually um, wet it or painted it because you've only got a very small amount here. You can see that where it's going to hang, it's, it's actually attached all three of them together. So, what I found was let's paint this. There you go. You see I'm putting plenty of the green on. Covering that all up. Lid on. Now the blue is just going to give it a little bit of... Okay. It doesn't actually show up too much of the blue because the green, we've got the green in it, but it just gives it a little bit more colour. A little bit more interest. So now with this you have to be extremely careful. So extremely careful I can't 
as you can see where it's damp or wet it's very easy to break off of this centre section so what I found was by holding your finger on the bottom and just literally scrunching up the top part of the leaf it was a lot easier to control and didn't break off okay there we go you can see how flimsy it is so let's dry that one off So that's your leaf. So you've now got your two flowers, your two yellow flowers, your orange flower, and three leaves. Now what we need to do, as you can obviously see in the finished card, we need to do the background. Now for this I've used Crafter's Companion watercolour card. Um, and I've cut it to size. There we go. Okay. So we're going to use the orange and the yellow to create the background for this card. So it matches in tonally with the flowers that you've that we've just made up. So let's go in with the orange, or well, let's open up should I say, the orange and the yellow. Now because I don't want it to be a wash, so I don't want it so it all runs, I want it to be a bit more controlled, I'm going to put them down onto dry card. Okay, this means that you've got more control over actually where the colours end up staying or which section the, end, the colours end up staying. As you can see I'm being really rough with it. Just splodging it on and let's make sure I wash this brush off properly. I'm going in with the yellow. I don't know if you can see here where the two colours have actually met. It's probably better there. You can go over the top of them um, and they start to mix in together but you've still got quite a bit of control because I don't want I want to leave a white around the edge but I want the colours to be quite bold still so let's put a little bit more orange just in there And the nice thing about this is, every card and every background, should I say, will turn out differently. So as you can see, I'm roughly doing a square. Oops, a little bit there. Let's put a little bit more orange down this section here. Although you probably won't see it because of the, the flowers. But just in case I decide I want to turn it around and add the flowers down the other side. Okay, so that's basically the background. Let me put the lids back on these. And let's dry this off and see what it looks like. There you go, that's it dried off. Uh, next I do is lay these all out gently in position. Maybe something like that. There you go. And that's the basics of your card. Here I've finished it off with a stamp and a couple of little dew drops um, and inside the actual roses 
I've just put some pearls, pearl drops, um, and that's the finished card. Don't forget to like the channel and give us a thumbs up. There's lots of other videos and tutorials both here and on the spectrumnoir.com. Thank you. Bye.